pattern pieces for the bodies are ready to be cut and of course my usual sewing companion Chico is keeping me company uh, while sleeping. I start by sewing the darts of the front and the back bodies. This dress has gussets so I'm cutting here using my pinking shears to install the gusset underneath the sleeves. I'm lining one side of the triangle with the part of the bodice, of the front bodice in particular, so I can sew it and then as soon as I reach the point I will pivot and then sew the rest. Fun fact, I tried making this dress a couple of years ago but I wasn't successful because I couldn't make the gussets work. Uh, but since then, through trial and error, I finally uh, realized how I'm supposed to make them and now I'm not afraid of them anymore. So here's the result. I think they look really good. What do you think? After ironing some fusible interfacing to the front facing, I have connected the front facing with the front bodies and sewing them together. And this is the final result after giving it a good press, of course. It's late and my babies are waiting for me to go to bed, so this is the end of the first day. I am connecting the front to the back bodice at the shoulder seams and also the side seams. On one side I'm gonna stop here because I want to add the zipper. The skirt in this pattern is a pleated skirt. It has pleats and tucks, but I didn't have enough fabric to make it that way and my fabric is vintage, so it's quite narrow. My only choice was to make a gathered skirt and you see me here doing the gathering stitches. I did two pieces front and back for the skirt and after gathering them I connected them to the bodies at the waist and it turned out to be a bit bulky but well it is what it is. I had to take my time when sewing the skirt to the bodice because as I said it was quite bulky and I had to constantly stop and check if the pleats were looking good so the fabric wouldn't be pulling at any areas and uh, it was a bit tedious but it's fine. I've done it before. And haven't you? I really hate having to go out to buy notions, but I didn't have a light blue zipper nor the right buttons, so I went and got one as well as a couple more zippers and my white buttons for the bodies. to my sewing and now I'm preparing the cups. I'm not following the pattern on this because it seemed a little rather complicated. I couldn't understand the instructions so I'm just making a simple cuff. Cuffs, plural. Um, and basically I have to admit that I didn't really follow the pattern instructions because most of the time I couldn't understand what they meant and what I had to do. So I just kind of winged it and did the whole dress um, in a way that I'm used to sewing. Um, luckily I'm kind of experienced so far and um, I can sew without instructions, at least for the most part. 